Hundreds of revelers riding horses, playing musical instruments, and wearing colorful traditional clothing at this year's Durba festival in Zaria. Locals are celebrating the end of the holy month of Ramadan. If there is no horse riding, so people will be so people will not be happy because every people they are coming from every village and everywhere to gather to see their emir in a colored dress and other horse rider. For tourists like Barbara Patricia, it's always a fantastic time. It's always a very fantastic time for me to engage with the local people, to, you know, be part of their culture and um, just enjoy the festivity, the traditions, but it's just so fantastic. It's, it's not to be missed. Jibrilim explains that the festival represents the number of horses and warriors that were present before the country's colonization, showing the allegiance and strength of the kingdom. Yes, it shows a strength. It shows that the kingdom have a warriors. The kingdom have a, a, a number of horses and a number of warriors. Before that, uh, before the colonization, you know how the, the kingdoms are. One will be fighting another kingdom so that you have a large kingdom. So it's still uh, because after the colonization, there is no any going out to fight. But still, we come out to show our allegiance and to show the strength of the uh, kingdom. The Durban Festival, an annual religious and equestrian celebration, comes on Eid al Fitri at the end of the month long dawn to sunset fasting of Ramadan. It falls on the first day of the 10th month of Shawal in the Islamic lunar calendar, commencing with the rising of the crescent moon. <laughs>